Welcome, thanks for joining me for an amazing cardio workout that I have planned. Get ready, you are going to sweat. If you haven't been here before, I'm Corey Boggs, lead trainer and wellness director at Beta Fitness. Here we do 10 minute workouts, we do 30 minute workouts, also provide some fitness and nutritional tips and tricks. So go check those out after you get this class done. So let's go do this. All right, you got everybody, it's just me today. Brad's gonna take care of baby Ellie, so let's just get warmed up. Let's start with some jumping jacks, and then we'll do our dynamic stretches. Okay, we'll go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and windmill. So arms and legs stretched out, reach your butt back, touch your toe, look up at your hand, and down. Down and up, two, we'll do 10, three, down, up, four, good, you guys, six, send those hips back, really twist through your torso, two more, and we'll do squats, arms up, hands at heart center, squat down and up, good, we have got our cardio class today, you know the drill, time to work hard, the goal is to keep moving the whole class, let's do three more, and two, and three, let's reverse lunge. Keep your hands at heart center, we'll twist. Reverse lunge, twist over that forward knee. Back to center and reverse. Twist. Good, get that knee close to the ground. You can rest it if you want. You don't have to. Let's do two more. And we'll do our inchworms. When you do your inchworm, really focus on hinging at the hips. Keeping those legs as straight as you can, walking out, and then send those hips down, shine your chest up. When you walk in, really try to press those heels into the ground, walk it back in, stay hanging, walk it back out. Hips down, chest up, walk it in. One more, and we'll do our wide climbers. Okay, plank position, step your right foot outside your right hand, keep that back leg straight. Plank, left foot outside left hand, plank right, Plank, left, keep that back leg straight. Plank, two more, right. Plank, and left. Plank, heels into the ground, walk it all the way in, and roll it up. Ready? All right, folks, we have two exercises. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, four times for four minutes of work. First exercise is our high knee pause. So you're gonna give me two high knees to a pause. So one, two, pause. One, two, pause. One, two, pause, okay? First exercise, next exercise is 90 degree squat jumps with a pulse. So we're gonna pulse, one, two, jump 90 degrees. One, two, jump 90 degrees. All the way around, when you go back to center, go in the other direction, okay? Those are our first two exercises, four minutes. Keep moving and grooving. Let's go, you guys. And in five, fast feet, get those knees up high. And one, two, pause. Trust me on that pause, really drive that knee up, hold. Really use that core. Flex your foot, flex your foot on that pause. Fast feet, fast feet. Let's go, you guys. If you wanna move around side to side, you can too, kinda makes it fun. All right, so now we're gonna pulse. One, two, you never come to full standing and jump to 90 degrees all the way around your circle, okay? One, two, jump. Two, and jump. Stay low, stay low. When you get all the way around, go back in the other direction. Hands at heart center. Keeps your chest nice and upright. Feeling a burn. My legs are burning. Three, two, pulse it before you jump. All right, up. One, two, pause. If you wanna like move side to side, you can as well, or just stay stationary. Ready? Fast feet, go. Pull it high, flex that foot. Make them fast, a nice quick pause. Kind of like a quick, just accentuated high knee. Use those arms, you have five seconds. And three, come on you guys, let's go faster. Woo, all right. Our 90 degree jumps. Remember to pulse it, stay nice and low. And you pulse, and then jump, explode. One, two, jump. One, 
two, jump. All the way around and then go back in the other direction. Pulse it. You control that pulse, don't just bounce. Don't just kind of bounce in it. Pulse up, down, jump. Down, jump. Woo. And we're halfway. The heart's starting to get up there. Keep pushing. It's only four minutes of these two movements. Ready? And go. Really pause, 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 but then get after it. Come on, move those feet faster, you folks. Let's go. Use your arms. Come on, we're getting our heart rate up. That's the goal right now. Ah. Yep, get to getting up there. Hands at heart center. Pulse and jump. Ready and down. One, two, explode. Stay low. Only time we come out of it is when you jump and you get right back down low. Hands at heart center. Keep that floor spread apart. Make sure we're not coming in. Three, two, one. All right. I think we only have one more round. One more round. Yep. Get ready. Come on, move faster. Push harder and go. Get that heart rate up. One, two, pause. One, two, pause. Just a split second pause. Driving that knee up. Come on, you can do it faster. It's your last time here. You have five. And three. Two. One. Woo. All right, final 20. Final 20, we have two more exercises. So let's go. Focus on good squats. Let it burn so good. Explode. Come on, push the floor away, spread the floor. Let's go, you guys, 90 degrees. Big chest, keep it up. Three, two, one. All right, perfect. If you need to grab a drink of water, you're more than welcome to. Pay attention. Next two exercises. First one are ice skaters. So we're gonna glide, the goal is to push across the floor, push to push. If you wanna tap and tap, to get low, you can do that. Or you can just push and push. Those are the two options. In exercise two, we're gonna do climbing, cli climbing climbers, crawling climbers. So we do mountain climbers, yes? We're gonna move forward. Small little movements forward. If you want small movements backwards, you can. So the goal isn't like to take these big steps or you're gonna get all wobbly. They're just nice. So get into your climber, and then slowly creep those hands forward. If you feel uncomfortable, you're like, I just can't quite get the rhythm, just do a climber. But we've done so many climbers, we're adding another element. Ready? We're gonna start with our ice skaters. In five. The goal is to glide and touch your toe. Push across the floor. Push, sit low, push, sit low. And quick, quick, quick. Come on, you guys. Try to touch that toe by sitting into the heel of that planted leg. So we're sitting down into this heel. Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, get down into your mountain climber position. I'll go like twice so you guys can see. I'm gonna go forwards and backwards. You can just go forwards if you want for 20 seconds. You should not be going very far because you're taking tiny little movements. And if you wanna go backwards, because you've run out of space like I am, just to show you guys, go backwards and forwards. Come on, climb it. It's not big movements if you're crawling in that climber. And three, two, one. Woo. All right, I have to just start the climber and then as I get my climber going, I move my hands. All right, let's do skaters again. Remember, glide and touch, touch, push, push. Come on, we got it. If you wanna just slide, you can just slide. You want to sit low into that to burn that bum a little bit more. You can. And three, two, one. All right, you guys. If you want to find more space, I'll do this round climbing mostly forward. You can do that and just for 20 seconds, slowly climb forward. Crawl forward as you climb. Knees into your chest. Start with your climber. As you do, just slowly move those hands with it. 
and you'll find your rhythm. Backwards is definitely a lot harder. So if you wanna just crawl around the room, climbing, you can do that too. All right, you guys up, halfway. Two minutes done here. We have two minutes to go. Ready, and push it. Come on, you guys. It's only 20 seconds of each movement. You can push hard through those 20 seconds. When you get down to touch the toe, please don't round over. I want you to sit that butt low and push. Sit. I'm not rounding my body, my back, and doing that. Sit, come on. Good work, you guys. I'm going back to small forwards and backwards. Plank position. If you want to just do plain mountain climbers, do just normal mountain climbers, or crawl your body forward, and then crawl your body backwards. Or do a couple normal, and then slowly do a step. Step normal, then move those hands. Come on, you can do it. Woo, moving, grooving. Almost there. Up, last 20 of this round of two. Woo, get ready, get set. Remember, sit down into it. Don't round your back. Sit into the heel of the leg, just exploded over. The landing leg, sit down, sit down. Come on, push, push and touch. You have five seconds. Two, one. All right, last climbers. I'm gonna go on an angle this time. Using all the little space that we have. All right, let's go. Climb it. You wanna pause and just do a couple mountain climbers to so reset and then walk it, you can. Come on, you guys, push it. You have five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, man. Good job, good job. Two more exercises, so don't go far, pay attention. Next exercise is, we've done these before, our sprinter jumps. So we'll go right leg for one round, left leg for the other round. So now we're going straight down. My opposite foot is touching my toe, or opposite hand is touching my toe, driving my knee up. Down, up, so notice I'm down, up. If you don't want to put your back foot down, just challenge a little bit, or you can just hinge over, drive up. It's a little bit, oops, I've looked at something, so you have to make sure, up, back. If you don't want to put that foot down, a little bit more of a challenge and stability. Exercise two, back into plank. We're gonna add another element. We've done plank jacks many times before. We're gonna add a tap with the shoulder. So as we jack, we tap our shoulders. Okay, if that feels too much of a challenge, just do jacks. You don't have to tap your shoulders, but I wanna add something new to you guys. Okay, let's go with sprinter jumps. In five, everybody, right leg forward first. Right leg forward. So I'm gonna come sideways, so I'm touching the ground, my foot is on the ground, I'm driving high. Driving high. If you wanna not use the element of your foot tapping in the back, you can just hinge, drive up, hinge, drive up. Really focus on that stability. It's like a single leg deadlift. A lot of stability and control. Good work, you guys. Okay, down on the ground. You're doing your plank jacks. So my feet are going in and out. As they go out, I tap a shoulder. As they go in, my hand goes down. Out, tap a shoulder. As they go in, my hand goes down. So you can slow it down or you can rock it out. Jacking those feet. A lot of shoulder stability, core strength, quads are involved. Let's go. All right, up, left leg forward. Whatever you feel comfortable doing, whether you wanna keep that back foot touching the ground, awesome. If you wanna let it not touch the ground, that's even better. Challenge that stability of that leg. Up, right back. Up, drive it back. Come on, you can do it. Woo. Push you guys. Good control. There we go. Down to the ground. So if you felt too awkward, like tapping the shoulders, by all means, you don't have to tap your shoulders. If you want to try it, do it. I just like to give a few different variations, especially for those who have taken our classes many times. You should be able to see a little bit more control of your body. 
a little more strength, a little more cardio endurance. Come on, you guys, let's go. Push it and tap it. All right, back up. Left leg forward. Left leg it is. Remember, you're welcome to tap and drive or keep that back leg off the ground the whole time. You can keep it off the ground the whole time if you would like, or put it down. Hinge, drive that knee. Use your arms to help drive up, up. Almost there, and one. All right, down to the ground. Come on, we've got this. We're working hard all together. Two, one, out and in and tap. Try not to let those hips come up in the sky. Our butt should not be up in the air. We need to be straight and flat and tapping or just jacking. Push that floor away. You know what you can do well. Push yourself in that movement. All right, last one of each exercise. 20 more seconds and we're moving on. So quick, four minutes go so fast. Remember to hinge if you're doing the one-legged or touch it and explode. Touch and go. It's up to you. Drive that opposite arm up with that op with your knee. Hinge those hips back. All right, last 20. Ooh, I got a good burn with the stability in that. Let's go in for last 20. All right, jacket and tap it, jack and tap. Come on, push that floor away. Nice control of those hips. We're not sinking, we're not raising up into the sky. Good work, almost there. Now you've done it. All right, you guys, we have one more round of two movements. A little bit more core focus this time. So if you wanna get a mat or a towel or something, you can, I'm not gonna use one, so it's up to you. We're gonna do a rotating plank for exercise one. We're gonna go into a forearm plank. My arms are gonna be like this though, instead of like this, okay? So we can rotate. We're gonna rotate side to our feet, raise our arm, come right back, rotate to the other side. If as you raise your arm, you wanna raise your leg, you can do that too. Let me turn this way so you guys can see. So my arms are like I showed you, I'm rotating, reaching. If I wanna reach my leg, I'll reach my leg. Back down on top of each other, rotate, feet stack in front of each other and raise. Exercise two is a jackknife. Start on your back. You're gonna try to come up, touch your shins, right back down. Touch your shins, back down. If that's too much of a challenge, you can just keep your legs up, lower with control, or you can keep your legs up, reach up and touch your shins. Those are your two options. If the jackknife is a little bit too weird or hard or just you don't feel comfortable in that movement. Okay, let's get down to the ground, you guys. Starting with our rotating plank. I don't know why my timer's doing something funny. Just a second. All right, 20 seconds. Get on your forearms like this. And then we're rotating. Feet are in front of each other. They're not stacked. And then we raise our leg up if you want. Back to control. And then rotate to the other side. And raise, or just rotate and reach. Back down, or rotate and reach. Back down. Your feet will not be stacking. They'll be in front of each other. They'll be lined up, not stacked. All right, let's get up. Or let's lay on our back, our jackknife. So hands out, legs out, up in control. Try to tap those shins, back down. Tap your shins, back down. Good control. When you're out in this hollow hold position, remember to tuck those ribs down. We don't want to get any arching in our back as our legs are up. So we have to wrap everything down. If you wanna just keep those legs up and touch your shins, touch your shins. If you wanna just lower those legs, you can just lower those legs. Those are your three options for that jackknife movement. All right, you guys, rotate your plank. Back down. Straighten those legs out. Reach, rotate, reach, rotate. Raise the leg for added stability, added control through those hips and your obliques if you would like, but you don't have to keep those hips elevated off the ground. Think about them reaching up towards the ceiling when you're near side plank. All right, you guys, jackknife. 
pick the, pick the variation that works for you. Give it your best. Up and down. Good. If your hands come behind you, we tend to want to use momentum to go all the way like that and up. So you can take them behind you. It makes it a little bit harder, to be honest, which is why I was right through here, using less momentum, but just using a smaller range of motion. All right, back down, halfway, you guys. Back those forearms, straighten those legs. Rotate, keep those hips lifted, chest is open, raise the leg if you want. Back to center, rotate. Open your chest, raise the leg. As you raise the leg, it's not about how high you go, but you want to make sure that toe isn't just like reaching for the ceiling, it's pointed forward. Rotate and reach, rotate and reach. Good, on your back. Awesome job, this is number three. So tuck your ribs down, tuck your pelvis under, and up and tap. If you're on the ground, with your shoulders on the ground still, tuck that pelvis under, lower and raise those legs, or come all the way up, tap your toe, all the way up, tap, I'm sorry, not tap your toe, tap your shins, back down, tap your shins, back down. All right, final one, you guys, back over on your forearms. We're just rolling over, rolling everywhere today. Up, up, get ready. You should be ready before that timer goes. Partially telling myself that. Good. Rotate. Nice control. This is not a fast movement. It's showing yourself that you can have control in the plank as you rotate into a side plank. Raise, raise that leg. Good control back to plank. Rotate to side. Raise your legs. Go back and forth. Woo, all right, last jack knife. Oh, my core is starting to feel it, that's for sure. Get ready, and up, control that movement back down. Up, tap those shins, up, and up. Tuck those ribs down, don't let them flare as you extend out your body. Good, you guys, almost there. Five, three, two, one. All right, get up and get ready for our eight minutes of endurance. Good, good. All right, you guys. So, just changing my timer so we can get this going. We have all eight, all eight exercises. We're gonna do them all for 45 seconds, 10 second transition. So the goal during this time is to keep moving. Modify if you need, but just keep moving. We wanna keep our heart going. Ready? We're gonna start with our high knee, high knee pause. In five. No time but the present. Push yourself through the whole time through. The goal is to keep moving. One, two, pause, one, two, pause. Get those feet moving, knees lifted. As you lift your knee, make sure that foot is flexed. Flexing that foot engages this booty a little bit more. Come on, keep going. I know I paused, I was talking to you guys. We're halfway. Up, come on. Move those feet faster. It's only one more time. You only, this is the last time you're doing this exercise today. Not if ever, because I hope you come back to our YouTube channel and do these again sometime. Five seconds, come on, move those feet faster. Two, one, all right. These squat pulse jumps, gonna get those legs burning. Remember, 90 degrees, we pulse for one, two, jump 90. Okay, pulse one, two, jump. Push the floor apart in that squat position. Make sure you're sitting in your heels. As you land, you'll land toes to heels, but sit back into those heels and keep going. This 45 seconds will feel like a long time, but we're halfway there. You can do it. Come on, keep it up. You have less than 20 seconds. Down and pulse, down and pulse, jump and jump. We have 10. I'm doing it with you. We're all alongside this. We're pushing hard. Three, two, one. All right, we have our skaters. So remember, we're sliding, gliding, sitting down, tapping your toe. Ready, set, and go. Push and tap. Sit, sit. If you want to just 
push side to side because your butt is sore, your legs are tired, this is great too. The goal is to just push yourself as best you can for the entire 45 seconds. I don't want to see anybody resting. I want to see you keep moving. We don't stop. We do our best in the movement that we can for the 40 seconds. 45, sorry. 15 left. Push, push and tap, push and tap. Reach for that toe, sit into your heel. We have five seconds and three, two, one. All right, we have our climbers, mountain climbers. Get down to the ground. Just climb if you need, crawl and climb. It's up to you. Let's go. Small movements forward. Small movements backwards or just forwards and crawl around your backyard or your living room or just hold that climber and pull those knees into your chest with your hips still. We don't want those hips to be up high in the air. I see a lot of mountain climbers like this in my day. We want to keep those hips down and square to the ground and crawl it out. Come on, you can do this. You can push. You only have 10 more seconds. Don't stop now. Dig down deep. Should be tough. Two, one. All right, back up. We have our sprinter jumps. I'll tell you to switch legs halfway through. Just remember, touch, explode, or just hover that leg. Okay, about 22 seconds. Ooh, I was trying to do it and I got wobbly. On each leg, stay focused. If you're doing the more challenging with your balance, pick a point, don't stop staring at it. Give me one more, switch legs. Let's go, drive it up. We're almost done. You're over halfway through this round of eight minutes. You can keep going. Drive it up, drive it up. Come on, three seconds. All right, back down to the ground. We have our plank shoulder taps, our jack taps, I guess what I guess I'll call them, but shoulder tapping, jacking in your plank position. Ready? So start with your jack. As you feel comfortable in that jack, tap your shoulders as your feet go out. Your feet go out, you tap your shoulder, feet come in, your hand goes down. If you want to slow it down and try it during this round, you can do that. Or just knock it out as best you can. Good solid plank jacks. Again, don't let those hips creep into the sky. Keep them down, guys. Let's go. 10 more seconds. Come on, push it. Almost, keep pushing, keep rolling. Perfect planks, tap those shoulders. Woo, all right. We have our rotating plank. Forearms, remember, like this. Those feet are wide enough so they line up when you rotate. So they line up in front of each other and rotate. If you wanna raise your leg, raise your leg. These last two are controlled, slower movements. Remember to breathe through your nose, out through your mouth. Control your body. As you rotate to your side plank, keep those hips lifted towards the sky as you reach for the sky. Nice control. We're almost through your 30 minute cardio class. We have 10 more seconds. Your heart should be elevated. I'm sure it's starting to slow down a little bit as we slow down our movement. We wanna stay strong. All right, on your back. So find what you can do. 45 seconds is a long time to do these jack knives. Stay in control of your body if you need to, just slow it down and just do those leg movements or reach up and touch your shins without, without raising and lowering your legs. That's it too. But I want you to do what you can, feel the burn. Without, if you start feeling this in your low back at this point, I want you to go down to a different progression, a different variation, I'm sorry, so we're not feeling it in our back. Easier again would be back is flat on the ground. Small movements here, or keep that back flat on the ground. Reach up and touch your shins. I don't want anybody to be feeling any strain in their low back. 
got to focus on your core here. Your hip flexors are engaged. You want to squeeze those legs together. It helps take away some flip, hip flexor engagement so you don't start feeling a strain through there either. Woo! There we go, you guys. Nice job. Thank you for showing up today, right before the holidays. That was great. Baby and Bradley got to go play in the back room. Yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah, have Happy a good holidays. holidays. See you guys in the new year. Yeah, wave at them, wave at them. They did a good job, didn't they? <laughs> Thanks for crushing it, guys. Remember to check out our other videos. Also, subscribe to this channel, like our videos, leave feedback if you'd like. We'd love to hear from you. We look forward to seeing you at our next workout. <laughs>